Hey Andre, uh, I did something bad. What'd you do? I bought a car sight unseen. I hope it's not that Liberty. <laughs> no, so I was poking around the auction and uh, I found a car that we've owned, but I fell in love with. So I thought I would buy it because, well, it wasn't a lot of money. Is it that Supra? No, it's, 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 it's actually pretty it, cool. I like the Celica over there too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, That's not it? That wasn't it. Okay. Uh, it was a car that has a reputation, let's go look at it, for being one of the most unreliable cars ever. No. Yeah, yeah. So this was a charity donation and um, it was on auction and when I started bidding on it, it was only $400. Okay. So at the end of this video, I'll tell you how much we end up paying for this car. But Roman, why would you, we used to have one of these and our suspension worked. This one looks like it's all the way on the ground, almost. Yeah, that's a problem with these cars. They, they do have a collapsed suspension. Uh, this is a 2006 LR3, which is actually, to be fair, the good one. Is that a good year? It's a good year, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a good year. So shall we kind of take a walk around and sure. see, see what First I bought? First of all, I hate that it's dark color. I hate be black too, I know. Because, be, oh, because it's hard to show on video. I, I have like rules and I broke every single one of them. <sighs> First of all, never buy a black car. Okay. You know, never buy a car with... Uh, sight know, unseen. Sight unseen, never buy a car with collapsed suspension. But let's kind of do a walk around and then we'll see if she runs and we'll figure out the suspension. So first and foremost, I think the car's in pretty good shape. All right, so this body looks good. Yeah, there is a problem I noticed. What? Uh, uh, paint's gone on the top, on the roof. Is there a clear coast turn to go? Yeah, especially in the center. Yeah, but okay. only tall people will know. Yes, and, <laughs> and we are tall, but not many people. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, Roman. This interior is immaculate almost. The interior is in really good shape, huh? Other than the uh, dirt on the driver's side, armrest yes. uh, everything is really great yeah so this was this is a charity donation that somebody donated and the cool thing about this andre is yeah. it's only got sixty three thousand miles what yeah sixty three thousand miles it's a 2006 for sixty three thousand miles yeah so that's dangerous Roman, because it could have been sitting somewhere well, I'm, I'm, for a long time i'm assuming it was sitting somewhere for a long time because of the roof okay right uh, and it came out of florida which is another rule Ooh. <laughs> do you think it was sitting underwater I don't know. I don't think it was sitting underwater. But okay. never buy cars out of Florida because uh, their titles are always a little questionable. So this all works. Uh, we, have, we have floor mats. We have Look tire that. changing kit. Yeah. Look at that. That's Look, we have used. some pine needles. Some, I don't know if... Something's missing there. Probably like an inflator kit. Something, something. Yeah. yeah, something's missing. And so some, uh, I think there's other parts missing. Yeah, and there's also pine needles. So I don't know if there's pine needles in Florida. Well, this car, this car was, I, I know that it, it has lived in Colorado for a while. For a while. So it's yeah. probably Colorado pine needles. Yeah, because I just got the title to it and it's a Colorado title. Okay, well, that's good news, actually. So that's, that's good news, yeah. Okay. And it was donated by somebody in Colorado. But, you know, the, the problem with it, well, I'll show you the problem. And maybe this is why people were a little hesitant to buy it because cars out of Florida have a reputation. Oops. It has a hitch, which that, is good. I like that. It does have a hitch. Have a yeah. reputation of maybe having questionable ownership. Roman, and, I see an issue. Yeah, somebody. There's is. a dent right yeah. there, big one. Yeah, somebody, but look at this. What? What's missing, look. Right there, there should be a VIN and there's no VIN. Oh boy. Yeah, so but you have a title. I do have a title because there's a VIN that's stuck onto it over here from Florida. So like a reassignment. Yeah. Or reassigned. Which is always, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks, that <laughs> looks official. I'm sure it's official. Okay. I mean, I mean you know, what you worry about is that uh, it went through a hurricane and then, you know, somebody switched VINs for a car that hadn't gone through a hurricane. But I think since that's official, I think we're okay. Okay. All right, so let's look under the hood. I'm these, still worried about the suspension. Well, the problem with these is they have that V8. Yeah? That uh, sometimes um, would blow a head gasket. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not a problem, Robin. I don't think that's a problem, Andre. Because <laughs> you don't have a V8. I don't have a V8. Let's see, one, two. This is the V6. See, this is a V6. Nice. You That's... know what this V6 is out of? What? It's out of the Explorer. This is the best news yet. Seriously. It probably came out of that Explorer. No, no, no. So <laughs> during this time, 
<laughs> obviously, Land Rover Range Rover was owned by Ford. Yes. Uh, and they put the Ford V6 in. This was a very rare option. But Roman, why did they use so much plastic? Because that's what Ford did. So this is, this is a base car, Andre, and I couldn't be happier. Why? Because the V8 was problematic? The V8 was very problematic. I just broke it, Roman. Sorry. Stop okay. breaking it. That's okay. So you, can so, check, you can check the air filter, I, see how it's No, it's you maintained. can't because it's screwed in with, with screws. Oh, you can't check the air filter. But we can check the oil. Check I want to like channel Toby. You know, Toby is so oh, the great. Oh, dirty. Actually, no. no. Is it clean? No, it is clean. It's clean. It's the stick that's dirty. kind of black. Okay. Right. Well, that's, that's good. Weird. Somebody changed the oil. That's always a good thing. Okay. We have enough power steering fluid and enough coolant. Okay. So but, some some of these signs are good. But do we have enough windshield wiper fluid? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hard to say. It looks crusty in there. Hard to say. Look, this is uh, not grand. Look, uh, clear coat's coming off the front. Sure, and the plastic is faded. And the plastic is faded. But this has Land Rover part numbers. Look at this. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it that's worked, pretty it, good. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, didn't, didn't okay. Ford didn't just stick the... Right? No, no, it's fine. They gave Land Rover the engine. All right, here's the biggest question. Will the suspension work? Well, look at the tires, too. They're good, Andre. Generals? Yeah. General Grabber's all-terrains. Yeah. It's missing a, a little uh, center hubcap over well, here. Well, that's, that's probably the least of your problems, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to know if it's rusty underneath. So here, why don't you get in and if, if, if look, these things had air suspension, right? And there are two ways that the air suspension failed. Either the little compressor would give out yes. in the back, which is a common failure point, or the, you know, the valves somehow. Where or there's some a, leak, right? There'd be a leak. Yeah. And sometimes what happens is, you know, there's a slow leak, and so when you, get, when you get in the thing, you start up, if there's a slow leak, the compressor turns on and it jacks up. All right, let's watch what happens. Holding my fingers, Andre. Okay. Start her up. Lift it up. Lift her up. <laughs> Will she go up? Oh my God! Oh, it's going. <laughs> it's going up. It is going. <laughs> the back's oh, wow. up. Is, did my rear end come up? Your rear end came up. What about the front? Front's not up yet. Oh. Maybe it takes some time. Oh, wait, it's coming up. It's taking, it's coming up, Andre. Wow. Slowly but surely. Wow. Look at that. I'll be dying. I'll be danged. Well, Roman, I have more good news. Okay, tell me, please. Um, I don't smell anything bad in here. That's always good. Does and this... and let me check the cigarette lighter. Oh, I hate when that's always dirty. Oh, super clean. It looks clean. Yeah. Look, we've got our land uh, terrain management there. Yes, this is the original terrain management, this right? Is, yeah, it's, well, it's like second original. Does it work? Does it come up there? Yeah. Grass and gravel, mud and ruts, okay, sand. Yeah. Roman, it looks to be working. Look, so sand. Yeah, all the modes seem to be selectable. That's good news. I cannot wait to find out how much this cost. Hold on, I want to check underneath to see if there's rust. Let me look underneath. Oh, do you want me to go higher? Yeah, can you go higher? Let me try. Can you go to ultra high? To like Special whatever it's called? programs off. It says off-road height is selected. Okay. Close the door for extra height. I hear the compressor going. Okay. Oh yeah, it went up. Yes. There. Yeah, the front's a little tired. Let's look underneath here. Oh my God, no rust. Really? Yeah, no rust whatsoever. And as I can tell, nothing's leaking. Holy cow. No leak, no rust on. So it started really bad, but now it's getting better. It's gotten much better. I think we may have got a good one, dude. I think we may have got a good one. And it's a V6. One. It's a V6 base model, which is good. And low miles. 68,000. Super low miles. I thought it was 63, so 68,000. But this is what, 17 years old-ish? 2006. Yeah, so like 17 years old, that, that's very low mile. All right, so um, I started bidding, like I said, at 400. Okay. And somebody was bidding up against me. Okay. And it ended up at 4,050. Okay. Uh, but th this auction has a 17% buyer fee. So in the so end, that's... we paid, get this, four, five, six, seven. 
4,567, which I thought was a lucky number, 4567. So what's like the market value if this was in good shape? Did, did, did you, is, this, is this still a good deal, you think? I think so. Okay. I think, I think anything under 5,000 for a functioning LR3 yeah. is, is a good buy. Okay. You know, uh, because the problem with these is, of course, you can quickly get underwater. I'm scared to take it to Toby's if well, we ever well, take well, it let's to. Come on, let's, jump, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a okay. quick ride. All right. All right. We're up in, in the back, Zach. We're going to take it for a quick ride. I mean, I don't know if it shifts. <laughs> Did you test? You haven't tested four wheel drive, have you? I haven't you? tested anything. I, I bought it sight unseen. Okay. I haven't tested anything. I don't even know if the air conditioner works. Should we try that? Yes. Okay, let's try the air conditioner. Where's the fan speed? <coughs> Sorry, hold on. Uh, that's blowing hot. Hot, hot. Maybe that was too much to ask for. It's definitely blowing hot. Yeah, it's not cold. No, it's not getting cold either. I'd leave the window open. Luckily, we're into the fall. Hold on. So, four wheel drive. So, it's, if it's I put it. It's, it's full time four wheel drive. Yeah, but if I put it in for lo into low. Okay, you want to try four low? Low range selected, Roman. We might be in luck. Hold on, let me move. It shouldn't crab. Because it's a smart system, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not really crabbing, but it's also moving very slowly. So it is in four low. I think so. All right. Let me get out of four low. Go back to four high. Let's go for a ride on the road. So uh, far, the only bad thing about this is the air conditioning. High range selected. Nice. I've got a shred of hope that the air conditioning will... Well, it's getting lukewarm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting lukewarm. <laughs> hey, look, it's moving. It's how's, moving. It, how's it drive? Go down the road. It's okay so far. Yeah, no shaking? Not like no, a scared pool? No, no. I don't know if it has brakes. I mean, it has a little bit of brake. That's good. Brakes are good. We need brakes. Okay. Let me accelerate. These were kind of slow. This is almost full speed. Yeah, they were kind of full Slow speed. down, vehicle needs to go on normal height. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's going down. That's good, that's what it should do. Is this like a five speed or a six speed, do you remember? Don't remember. Okay. Don't know. I don't remember either. Oh, uh, I guess that's too much to ask for. I was hoping oh, for- Oh, actually. Oh, look. Uh, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Dang, look at that. No, yeah. I don't believe it. Look, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's not possible. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's not, no. It is possible. Additional owner benefits, Andre. Roadside assistance. We have a full leather bound owner's manual. How cool is that? That is incredible. So, so the only bad thing is the air conditioner. Maybe we can get it recharged, huh? Yeah, it seems like it's trying to work, but it's not quite working. Should, should we try the radio? It's in CD mode. Yeah, let's go FM mode. FM? FM? Yeah, it's working. Yeah. And we have a CD player. Not that we need one, but we have one. Well, Roman, I think you bought something. Look, look, it's driving straight. I'm not touching the steering wheel for a second. I think I, think I got super lucky with this, Andre. And let me try the brakes. They feel good? Yeah. They feel pretty solid. It's not mushy. And okay, the brakes seem to be there. Okay. Well, you scored, Roman. I can't believe it. I think we did good. I think we I accidentally did good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And since it's a Colorado title, maybe it should be relatively easy to, you know, to transfer the title yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah, it's a Colorado right? title. Yeah, I have a Colorado title, so it should just be easy to go to the DMV and get it pushed over. So yeah, I'm super psyched, Andre. Beautiful. We, we're, we're back to being LR, well, Land Rover owners, actually. Yes. Yeah. And actually, look, that's not even falling down. That's always a good sign. No, and there's no sunroof, and we don't need one, really. No, we don't need a sunroof. So. This is a base-based model. That's great. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, this has been um, a good, good morning, I think, huh? <laughs> I think we got lucky. Good only, morning. Only best thing would be if this was actually the refrigerator, which is no. Not. You you wish. I wish. I okay. mean, this is a base model, it's, so yeah, no refrigerator. We can't. But have a refrigerator. but it might have uh, yeah, some cast screws. Maybe um, I don't know. That's called. okay. That's okay. All right, guys, check out altfl.com for more exciting. We bought. Um, 
Ooh, what's this? That's not good. Yeah, it's like falling apart. It's falling apart. Yeah. Somebody was yeah. using it too much, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is bad quality rubber that disintegrates huh. over time. Okay. Yeah, check out all TFL for more uh, misadventures. Except this one wasn't. No, it's great. Ciao.